Now, in case of a mul uh, adjacency multilist representation, for every edge, you will represent every edge like this. Starting vertex, ending vertex, and two spaces. Now, since this is an unordered graph or undirected graph, 1 to 2 or 2 to 1 both means the same thing. That means this particular edge could have been represented as 2, 1 as well. It would have meant the same thing. So this is the first edge. Let us represent this particular edge. This will be Again, since it is undirected graph, we could have written this as 3, 1 as well. So you see there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 edges in the graph and we have represented each edge of the graph over here. Now we will have a list of vertices in the graph 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now first vertex. Now which is the first edge over here that has 1 at its entry. This is the first edge that has 1 as an entry. So this list of vertex or this 1 in the list of vertex will point at this particular edge. Now come to this point. This will point at the next edge that has 1 as an entry. So this edge has 1 as an entry. So this will be pointing over here correct? Now this portion will point at the next edge that has 2 as an entry. So over here if you see this is the edge that has 2 as an entry. So this will be pointing over here. This. Now this edge over here has 1 as an entry. So over here this memory location will point at the next edge that has 1 as an entry. Now if you look at the list there are no other edges that has 1 as an entry. So over here we will store null. This portion will store the next edge that has 3 as an entry. So this is the edge that has 3 as an entry. So this point will point over here. This memory location. Now come to this point. This portion will point at the next, ed next edge that has 3 as an entry. So there are no other edges that has 3 as an entry. So this will be null over here. This portion will point at the next edge that has 4 as an entry. So this edge has 4 as an entry. So this will be pointing over here. This portion will point at the next edge that has 2 as an entry. But we have a 2 over here. This is the edge that has 2. So this portion will be pointing over here. This portion will be pointing at the next edge that has 4 as an entry. So if you see, this is the edge that has 4 as an entry. So this portion will be pointing over here. This portion will be pointing at the next location that has 2 as an entry. There are no more 2's. So this will be null. This will be pointing at the next edge that has 5 as an entry. So that will be this edge. Over here as you see there are no more edges. Both of them will be null and null. Now come to the list of vertices. This 2 will point at the first edge that has 2 as an entry. So this is the edge that has 2 as an entry. So this will be pointing over here. This will be pointing at the first edge that has 3 as an entry. That is this one. This is 4. It will be pointing at the first edge that has 4 as an entry. This 
will be pointing at the first edge that has 5 as an entry. So this is how undirected graph is represented using adjacency multi list. Now let us come to a directed graph. Let this be a directed graph. Now again, first what we need to do is we need to represent the edges in the graph. So again, we represent the edges in the graph. Now since it is a directed graph, now the order of the vertices does matter. We can 1 and 2 writing 1 comma 2 and writing 2 comma 1 these are not the same in a directed graph these two are not the same in a directed graph so coming to this edge the first vertex is the starting vertex the second vertex is the ending vertex next edge let's come to this one this is 4 that is the starting vertex and 2 is the ending vertex Let's come to this edge, 3 the starting vertex, 1 the ending vertex. This edge, 4 is the starting vertex, 3 is the ending vertex. This one, 5 to 2. And the last edge over here is 5 to 4. So you see, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is how we represent. So obviously we will have the list of edges, uh, sorry, list of vertices over here. Now, 1, this vertex will be pointing at the first edge that starts with a 1. So this is the first edge that starts with a 1. This will point at the first edge that starts with a 2. So the first edge that starts with a 2, there are no edges that starts with a 2. The out degree of this vertex 2 is 0. Out degree is 0. So therefore this will be pointing at null. This will point at the first edge that starts with 3. That is this one. 4 will be pointing at the first edge that starts with 4. That is this one and 5 will be pointing at the first edge that starts with 5 that is this one now this portion will be pointing to the next edge that starts with 1 there are no other edges that starts with 1 so this will be null this will be pointing at the next edge that starts with 2. There are no edges that starts with 2, so it will be null. This will be pointing at the next edge that starts with 4. So this is the next edge that starts with 4, so it will be pointing over here. This portion will point at the next edge that starts with 2. So no edge starts with 2, so it will be null. This will be the it will point at the first edge after this that starts with 3. There are no other edges that starts with 3, so it will be null. This portion will point at the next edge that starts with 1. There are no edges, so it will be null. This will point at the next edge that starts with 4. There are no other edges that starts with 4, so it will be null. Next edge that starts with 3, no other edges, so null. This will point at the next edge that starts with 5. This is the edge that starts with 5. So this will be pointing over here. This will be null. Now after this edge there are no other edges over here. So it will be null and null. Now this is the multilist representation of an adjacent uh, multilist representation of a graph directed graph now again i have as i have already told you in the class you might find some other conventions as well 
so this is one of the conventions but it is not the ultimate convention you might find other convention in other books so when you are answering any question on adjacency multilist it is better that you uh, mention the convention that you are using for your answer